Hey YouTube, we are back again this week for another video portion of the Daily Dose Sports Podcast. Hope everyone out there is doing well. Hope you're all staying healthy. You know, this week on The Dose, the show this week is almost actually over. But we still have to get to our Daily Dose Top 5, so let's jump into that right now. Now, as we do so many weeks here at The Daily Dose, we need to get over to our Daily Dose Top 5. Last week, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention announced that people who are fully vaccinated against COVID-19 no longer need to wear masks or physically distance whether they are indoors or outdoors in most circumstances. Yes, the CDC's director, Dr. Rochelle Walensky, had this to say. We have all longed for this moment when we can get back to some sense of normalcy based on the continuing downward trajectory of cases. The scientific data on the performance of our vaccines and our understanding of how this virus spreads, that moment has come for those who are fully vaccinated. President Joe Biden called the move a great milestone during remarks last week at the White House, adding that it was made possible by the extraordinary success we've had in vaccinating so many Americans so quickly. I mean, you think about it, more than 35% of the U.S. population has been fully vaccinated, according to the CDC. Of course, once this announcement was made, we had people here in the United States, at least, screaming on both sides. One side is yelling, I don't have to wear a mask even if I haven't been vaccinated. The other side is yelling, we have to keep wearing masks. We need to stay under our beds for the rest of time. This can never, ever, ever be over. And it's interesting to me because it wasn't that long ago that everyone was like, dude, once I get vaccinated, it is about to be the roaring 20s up in here. I am going out. I will do whatever I want. I'm going to party. I will straight up make out with a hobo if I want to. And then the CDC comes out last week and was like, hey, you know, you can kind of stop wearing the masks. You don't have to social distance quite as much. We're kind of getting ahead of this thing. And those same people that were saying that they were all like, wait, 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 hold on. Let's stretch this out a little bit. We're not quite ready to fully commit to going out just yet. And you may ask how I lean on these arguments. And as usual, I just lean toward the fact that both sides seem to be idiots. But with the announcement coming out and people full on freaking out about it, a number of people actually missed some of the other things that the CDC said. Because I know they said, hey, you can kind of back off on the masks. You don't have to social distance quite as much. But they actually said five other things that a lot of us have been doing that we no longer need to do. You might have missed it because all you heard was the mask thing, the distancing thing. But the Daily Dose didn't miss it. And right now, on our Daily Dose Top 5, we are going to count down five other mandates that the CDC released last week that you weren't paying attention to. And a lot of people weren't paying attention to. We start off at number five. And at number five, the CDC said last week that athletes who are caught with banned substances in their systems no longer need to say, hey, I have no idea how this substance got in my system. I don't have a clue. I really don't know. It's a real big mystery. We know how those substances got in your system. So do you. You took them. Don't act like you're a medieval king or like a college girl at Florida State and people are just trying to slip things into your drink all the time. We know how this happened. You're taking the illegal substance. The reason that you have a masking agent in your urine is to hide the fact that there are way worse substances in your system that you are taking to try to get back on the field after the injury you suffered as quickly as possible. Stop acting like it's a mystery. You did it. We all know you did it. You know you did it. Just admit it. And I mean, this isn't limited to just humans. Even if you are, say, a horse that won the Kentucky Derby this year, but then faded at the Preakness like Greg Norman at the Masters in 96, the CDC now says, you can just admit that you cheated. I kind of like that they went at this. I didn't think the CDC would have the guts to say something, but they did, and I like it. 
and it comes in at number five. We move on to number four. And at number four, the CDC also announced that dunking all of your groceries and like the food you get delivered to your house in Purell to kill COVID, it's probably causing more harm than good. See, the CDC says that first off, there are actually no confirmed cases of this virus being passed on by just surface touching. But it isn't just that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I enjoy the taste of cleaning supplies as much as the kid next to me eating his Tide Pods at lunch. But the CDC also mentioned that having children consume things that have been dunked in a substance that is over 70% alcohol could have some negative side effects. Brief side note, hate to get off this subject too far, but remember like back in the 80s and 90s and stuff and everyone used to say, hey, it's all about the kids. It's all about the kids. We have to protect our children. I believe that children are our future. Well, this pandemic hit and everybody was like, oh, forget the kids. They have enough stuff. We don't need to worry about the kids through this. I mean, think about it. Kids are committing suicide. They're dropping out of school. They're getting into trouble. They're joining gangs. And everyone's like, well, I mean, we have the tools. Maybe we just make more of them. I mean, we need to worry about the old people here. That is the concern, not the kids. We'll worry about them some other day. We don't need to worry about them right now. But anyways, back on track. Purell on your food. Turns out it might not be just a tasty additive with no repercussions. We should probably go ahead and stop doing that to our food. It's not that healthy. And it comes in at number four. We move on to our number three thing that the CDC told us last week that a lot of us didn't really even pay attention to because all we heard was what we wanted to hear. But the CDC actually announced last week that sports fans, you no longer have to wear a lucky shirt to help your favorite team win a big game. The CDC says they know you're holding on to that one t-shirt because it's so lucky. And the last time you wore it, your favorite team won the big game. And so you're holding on to that shirt. And the next time your team plays a big rivalry game, you're gonna break it out and put it on that day. But the CDC now says that you wearing that shirt probably doesn't actually affect the outcome of a game nearly as much as a lot of people think it does. In fact, the CDC says, this sounds kind of crazy, that the sporting event has a lot more to do with the competitors on the playing surface, more so than the fans sitting on their couch with a Cheeto ring around their face wearing their special shirt. They even claim they can scientifically prove this is true. I know right now a lot of people aren't trusting the math, but I think in this case we might have to look a little closer. We're hesitant to believe facts like this. When you hear that, you're like, what are you talking about? I wear my favorite shirt and my team wins. That's how it goes. The CDC says that might not be the case. Wearing your favorite shirt comes in at number three this week. We move on to number two, and this is one that is going to bite sports fans all over the world. Because last week in their press conference, the CDC announced that sports fans no longer have to declare a greatest of all time in every single sport. In fact, they say that most of that talk is just kind of hearsay and nonsense. I mean, saying Tom Brady is the GOAT quarterback is pretty dubious considering he's only played in one era of the NFL and he's primarily just played in one system throughout his whole career. Calling LeBron James the GOAT when he has never experienced the joy of having the Detroit Pistons rearrange his spinal cord for him might be a little bit disputable, they say. We don't have to say Jack Nicklaus is better than Tiger Woods or that Floyd Mayweather is better than Sugar Ray Robinson. The CDC says most of the stuff you're not really able to prove any of it statistically or medically or scientifically. It is mostly just a reason for people to argue on sports talk shows. It might hurt our feelings a little bit as sports fans, but the CDC says we don't need to have these arguments anymore. They're kind of nonsensical. So we reach our number one item this week of things that the Center for Disease Control and Prevention announced last week that kind of went right over all of our heads because we only heard one specific thing and this one's a big one and i'll tell you right now this one's a little bit tricky it's gonna step on some toes i guarantee 
either you do it or you know someone who does it. But the number one thing that the CDC announced last week is that you no longer have to wear a mask in your car by yourself. Because the CDC now says you have almost 0% chance of passing the virus to yourself in a sealed up vehicle. They say, in fact, that if you have the virus and you get into your car with that virus, then the mask you are wearing to protect yourself from this virus is actually not really protecting you from the virus that you already have. They also say that if you do not have the virus and you are in a car by yourself, that once again, your chances are almost zero from getting a virus from no one. They don't want to go out and step out on the ledge too far and say it's zero, but they said it's as close to zero as you get. Folks, we no longer have to wear masks in the car by ourselves. That's pretty exciting. Hey, all joking aside, it is good news to hear that things are improving on the COVID front. I know a lot of people are getting the vaccine. The numbers on deaths and hospitalizations are dropping in a good portion of the world. And you know what? We're starting to see fans in the stands again at sporting events. We're starting to see fights in the stands again at baseball games. We are seeing people getting in fights in the stands, punching them square in the face in a public setting. And folks, I think that's a true sign that our world is beginning to heal. Okay, YouTube, be sure that you go out and you check out the rest of the podcast this week. This week on The Dose, the NBA playoffs are getting started. And based on the TV ratings, you have no idea how that's going. Well, don't worry about it. We'll help you out and let you know how that's going. Also, the NFL schedule came out last week. And while a lot of sports shows talked about some of the best games coming up on the schedule, we actually look into the Daily Dose crystal ball. And we preview how some of those best games are going to go. So make sure that you go out and you check out the rest of the podcast. I will leave a link here for you on YouTube. Hope you're all doing well. I will see you all next Wednesday. Have a great week. And remember, you don't have to wear that mask in the car anymore.